Today, the Gospel speaks of Jesus healing a blind man. And it also speaks of how other people criticized and ridiculed the blind man and said, and his healing, and said, no, that can't be. The blind men and the people who criticized him really represent us in society. So I'd like to focus first on the blind man and how that relates to me. You know, years ago, I really didn't know much about God. I didn't know about his love until I started living in Australia. And then that is where I found God. And it inspired me to pray and to become faithful and to really understand my faith. And the second thing is when I went to Medjugorje. I had been reading a book about it, and it talked about how Mary had appeared in Medjugorje. And so she appeared in trying to encourage us all to get back to God, and that changed my life. And that's when my Catholicism became strong. So I was like the blind man until Jesus came and opened my eyes so that I could see. And that was me finding my faith. And I'm sure each one of you have your own experience or story that relates to God and to your faith, just like the one I shared. Now, how are we like the people who chastised and criticized the blind man? Well, they didn't really see Jesus' wonderful work or healing. They couldn't see it. So that means, yes, that we sometimes don't see God's work in our everyday life. Let me share an example. Mass. Jesus is there, and it's a miracle. But we're like, oh, I don't want to get up and go to Mass. I have a job. I have other things to do. Or a beautiful sunrise that God made for us. We get too busy, and we don't even appreciate that. Meaning we're blind to God being all around us. And also when people criticize other people. We really have a bad habit of criticizing and putting down other people. Or do we listen to their story and do we become inspired by it? Let me give you an example. I remember one man who was a recovering alcoholic. And he went to you know, a group of high school kids and talked about how his life had changed after he had stopped drinking. And he tried to encourage them to not drink or do drugs. And a lot of the kids in high school just really weren't interested in anything he had to say. And they really missed that opportunity of how that man, man really wanted to help them. So we have an opportunity. And we don't want to miss that. So during Lent, again, it's a reminder to each one of us that God wants to have that relationship with us and that we need to keep having that relationship with him. And we need to try to put aside all of those things that prevent us from being and seeing God. Thank you, and God bless you.